By the end of this video, you'll know why I and so many others hate watch brands like Movement. So the next time you're shopping for a watch, you can actually make a better purchasing decision. I've helped thousands of men look better and now it's time to help you do the same. Okay, before I dish the dirt on MVMT, there's a few things I wanna make clear. When it comes to your money, you can spend your money how you want. I'm not saying you should never buy movement watches. You can if you want to, but I think by the end of this video, you'll quickly realize that there are some much wiser investments out there. Not just for rich people for all budgets, really. Now, if you want a bit more in-depth discussion on how this company actually works, then I did the video review a few months ago on it. So you can watch that one after you watch this one. But essentially, Movement, AKA MVMT, are a watch brand founded a few years ago. I believe they may have originally started on Kickstarter, advertising high quality goods at a fraction of the cost of other brands, putting big emphasis on cutting out the middleman. To apparently save the customer money, we'll definitely talk about that later. Their business model is these watches are made super cheap in China, a movement logo is slapped on the top of them and then they're sold at a big markup. And they can do this through their amazing marketing campaigns and their minimalist designs that tend to appeal to a younger audience. And on the surface of things, it doesn't sound so bad. I mean, you pay your money, you get a watch, they tend to work, they even look all right, so what's the catch here? Why do people like me hate this company? And why do I highly recommend other products over these watches? Here are some of the reasons. First one really is, there's just nothing original whatsoever about the brand. A big portion of their designs are exactly the same as millions of other watches out there. The faces are often identical. And part of that's because they've probably been made in the same factory, but we'll talk about that later. Even the brand's logo itself, it seems they have borrowed from another watch brand. The movement logo looks almost identical to the old Hamilton logo. Tell me that that doesn't look really, really similar. You know, if a company can't even come up with an original logo, it just shouts laziness to me. A lack of inventiveness, a lack of creativity. The only creativity is in the marketing. One of the crucial things for me really is to do with the pricing. For what you get, these watches are poor value for money. I see loads and loads of guys saying that these are you know, cheap budget watches and that they can't afford high quality watches, that they're completely out of their price range. And really, those people, if you're one of them, you know, you haven't done your research. These watches have a super low build quality. The only thing high about these is the price. And there are much better alternatives to these at the same cost. Let's have a look at the specs just for a second. These have got a cheap Myota quartz movement, which are really cheap to manufacture, don't cost much. The glass is mineral crystal, which is basically the lowest you can get. It's only one grade above plastic. It can scratch quite easily, often has a bad glare on the surface too. The leather straps at least, which are the ones I've tried, have been some of the worst I've ever tried. The genuine leather, which is one of the lower qualities of leather, but even for genuine leather, it's still really bad. And the case itself doesn't feel high quality. On the website, they kind of brag about the straps being interchangeable and that the case is made out of 316L stainless steel, both of which really, they aren't anything to brag about. And they're kind of industry standards, even for fashion watches. It's a super low baseline. What they've done with these is pretty much go for the lowest quality materials they can, and then they can make an insane markup on the product. At the time of filming this video, movement watches vary from around 80 pounds all the way up to about 270 pounds, which is by no means cheap. If you hang around to the end of the video, I'll give you some much better alternatives than this, where you get far better value for money. Basically, I would feel like a criminal for recommending these because they just aren't very good value for the average consumer. Their target market clearly seems to be people who are completely misinformed about what makes a quality watch. On their website, they say that they are cutting out the middleman to save their customers some money. And that takes me to the next reason why I dislike movement and similar brands. One of the things that I see time and time again on websites like movement is apparently how their business models are revolutionary and that they are shaking up the watch industry because they're cutting out the middlemen by selling the watches directly to you and bypassing the need for such things as physical retail stores where you've got plenty of costs including the hiring of people. On paper, this sounds great. You can get a watch that in a regular retail store will cost you a lot more for less. But the reality is, 
just doesn't happen. Any money that would otherwise have been saved on the part of the consumer is just being pocketed by these companies. I've seen dozens of examples of watches, just like this one, on the shelf in retail stores for a quarter of the price. With the same specs and with loads of middlemen. Loads of these companies have this slogan, but then just keep the prices high so they can get loads more profit. And admittedly, it's a really good marketing tool. And also, when you think about it, aren't many of these fashion watch brands actually middlemen anyway? Because the reality is, you can go online and buy watches nearly identical to these direct from China, through Chinese websites specifically at a fraction of the price. What companies like Movement are doing is essentially buying from the same factories as these other brands, loads of watches from China, whacking the movement logo on, and then selling them to you. Now obviously, you can't go and ring up a factory for yourself, but going through one of these online Chinese brands such as AliExpress, it's much closer to the direct-to-consumer model. Pretty much by definition, movement is the middleman. Movement's money, all the huge profits that they're making from this business pretty much just goes on more marketing. You know, who cares about improving your product or being able to offer better components at the same sort of price? Who needs that when you're already making huge markups on each of these? Why not instead just spend all the budget on marketing? They rely on getting these in front of loads and loads of gullible customers and they're amazing at doing it. They've got to be the best company that I know of at social media marketing. And one of their tactics involved with this is just to buy out gullible influence offering them money that they can't refuse to promote these products and pretend that they're something that they're not. And then all the millions of followers that love that creator are going to go out and buy a movement watch. And one of the tactics that annoys me specifically about MVMT is that the types of people that they target, because they don't only target some influencers in the sort of niche that I'm in, but they target completely random ones, because what they want is people who know nothing about watches. Because anyone who knows anything about watches will realize that these aren't very good value for money. So I've seen adverts on car channels, driving channels, women's channels that my girlfriend's been watching that are completely unrelated to even fashion. They know their target market really well. When you've got people with millions of followers, you've got their followers willing to pretty much buy anything they recommend. And those customers don't realize that there are better options out there. I much prefer companies that are willing to spend a bigger portion of their budget on trying to make the products better. I know companies are gonna make money and all that and they've gotta do marketing and stuff, but it's just the proportions. And the markup on the movement watches, it's just madness. Right boys, so I've come to edit this video and I've actually found something quite funny. I've managed to find the original Indiegogo page for movement watches. So it turns out it wasn't Kickstarter, it was Indiegogo. But the watches on there originally were $59. Whereas these days, it's the best part of $100 more than that. And that really just shows that, you know, they are capable of making watches to that sort of price point and still making money on them. But they're at the stage now where their marketing is so good, people will pay loads more for it. And it's a real shame because at that sort of price, it's a much better deal overall. Another reason that I hate this company is just the straight up line to consumers saying that they're high quality and great value when they just aren't. Objectively, these are terrible value, <laughs> they're not good value. It's like saying that a plastic toy car is comparable to a real life Ferrari. There's no such thing as affordable luxury, it's impossible. And one of the ways that I feel like I was misled with this company is when you actually look at the watches in person, they don't even look like the renderings on the website. The pictures and renderings online make these watches look far higher quality than they actually are. I don't know about you, but I certainly like to look at a product online, have it arrive, and it actually be what I expect. And the thing is, with these lies, it's, you know, throughout the company. They even lie to me. I get emails from this company every single month with a person saying that they like my videos, trying to beg me for sponsorships or free promotions, when evidently, you know, if they've watched any of the videos on my channel, there'd be no way that they want to sponsor this channel. They're just lying whenever they say that they watch my videos. And for all those things that I've said in this video so far, you could still say, but I just like the look of them, I want one. But in reality, they don't even look good. When you have one of these in your hands, they just look cheap. If you're someone that doesn't have much experience with different watches and think that this is good value for money that 
it looks good, that it's high quality. Well, you'll be glad to know that there are loads of alternatives that are just way better than this. Let's take a look at this similarly designed Timex watch. Comes with a similar minimalist aesthetic, in person and through the camera. I think most of you can tell that this is a much high quality product. This one's made by a decent well-known brand with a reputation and history of delivering decent quality products. I think that the design is more stylish. It comes with more features. Also, it's much higher build quality. Objectively, when you've got it in the hand, there's just no comparison. Even the strap itself is better and this one came with two in the box. This has got a Timex movement inside, still built on the Far East like the movement watches, but it's a lot better and it's only a fraction of the cost. One of these will set you back less than half of the cost of any of the movement watches. And the thing is, there's many more like it. There's loads of great options that you can check out that are better alternatives to the likes of movement, the fifth, Daniel Wellington. I did a killer video covering the best alternatives overall to the movement watches. I definitely recommend watching that one next so that you can make the best purchase possible. I'll have that one linked just below me right now on the end screen as well as in the iCard floating above. So please go ahead and watch that one next. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button. And if you want to see honest, similar tips on how to look great, make sure you press the round subscribe icon just to this side up here. And I'll see you on the next video.